Hi, I just wanted to share the beautiful view for the day and we're going to jump right into the content. This is my beautiful vintage Louis Vuitton PM agenda and this is the thickness of it with everything that I have in there currently. I'm currently also using it as a wallet so I have my driver's license, Target card, and my Apple card in there right now. Here we have some stickers that I put that I got as a sample as part of my order from Cloth & Paper. I will show you more of what I got from Cloth & Paper. This is my dashboard that I ordered from Etsy. These are monthly tab dividers that I ordered from Cloth & Paper. These cream or off-white inserts are what you would get if you had ordered from the Louis Vuitton website for the 2020 year and I've decided that even though there is some more time left in this year I didn't really want to continue using them and so after I filmed the first half of this video I ended up deciding to order some different inserts that also came from cloth and paper and just looked a little cleaner and were also more of that crisp bright white versus an off white. This is just a calendar overview for the whole year. This is what my daily setup currently looks like. I have this sticky tab right here to keep track of where I left off last. I actually keep the page flags in this back pocket right here. This is how I keep them in that side pocket. My additional cloth and paper order arrived and these are the little stickers that I used to annotate whether or not I've completed tasks for the day. And generally, this is what my planner will look like moving forward. As you can see, the like cream of the Louis Vuitton planner pages looks not so great in comparison when you have it right next to these crisp, bright white pages. Um, and I just really prefer the look of these cloth and paper pages more. It looks a little bit more modern and it fits my style a little better. I'm using these other stickers to act as whiteout. These gold foil tabs are also from Cloth and & Paper. And so is this little budget section. You can write whatever notes that you want here. On the right hand side, you get into the actual monthly budgeting. This is where you can keep track of your non-essential spending and expenses. And then another expense page is back here. And then you can write some more notes. And then here is also a reflection section for the entire month. This is the goals and ideas section. There's a section for quarterly goals as well as yearly broken down by month. And then this is the last miscellaneous section and I bought these inserts from Etsy. Also in this miscellaneous section is my media content planning pages. I keep the stickers for my planner in this back pocket back here. But that is basically everything. I have some inserts and they're just duplicates of what you've already seen. It's just that my planner has really tiny rings and so all of the pages are not going to fit in there. And so I just take them out and add them in as I need them and remove others as I'm done with them. That is all. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.